uh, has good nutrition, make sure he's got a lot of fatty acids in his diet, and that'll help out a lot. And uh, oh, so, uh, where would we pick him up? At the airport. At the airport. Right at the airport. Yeah. yeah, that's Dirt. not a big deal. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that'd be fun. Road trip. Any other questions, anybody? Hmm. Um, uh -huh. when can we get him? <laughs> That is a good question. Okay, guys, so as you can tell by that clip, we're probably most likely getting a new dog. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. You're going to have to stay tuned and watch the whole video. So, yeah, guys, I'm really excited, and my whole family is too, but it's going to be expensive. I mean, dogs are expensive. You have to, you know, uh, buy them a lot of things. You know, you have to get them food, toys, cages, whatever, kennels, whatever the frick you want to call it. And, yeah, it's not cheap, but I'm willing to take it because I, I want to love it. I'm going to love it so freaking much, and so will Major. Major will hopefully love it too, guys. But yeah, guys, it's going to be really cool, really lit, really awesome, really fun, really awesome, really dope, really lit. Okay, yeah. We'll see you in about, let's see, maybe a week or two? A week? I'd say a week in, like, two days. So yeah, we'll see you guys then. Okay, guys. So it's a couple weeks later, no, about a week later, and basically we found like a new like breeder or whatever for the dog, and it looks like we're getting it. My dad made us sign a contract that basically says if we don't end up taking care of it after like a couple years or whatever, like we stop doing it, we're gonna have to sell it or give it away because it's these dogs are like insanely like uh, what is what is it called? They're insanely active and like they get crazy or whatever, and they're just like the top of the line dogs, so they're really hard to take care of. So. My dad and I, like, and everyone, they made everyone sign a contract, but I'm not gonna give it away because I'm gonna work so hard to freaking do this. So, yeah, we did sign a contract. Okay. You're gonna get the dog. Alright, guys, so in my room, we just finished off the phone, and they asked for a deposit for the dog. So, I sent them a deposit. I think it was like $500. Definitely. Ooh, she texted me. She said, Great, just got it. So, yeah, guys, we're getting this dog. It's lit. I'll see you guys next week. I'm pretty sure that's when we're getting it. So, yeah, it's gonna be freaking lit. I'm so hyped. Everyone's hyped. Uh, I'm just so freaking happy. So, I'll see you guys in about a week. Alright, guys, so right now we're here at Petco. I brought my camera, but I forgot the uh, battery to it, which stinks. Like, my camera's right here. So, yeah, um, right now we're at Petco. I guess I'm just gonna use my phone to, like, vlog this for now. And, yeah, they're already inside my family, and we're just gonna go shopping for my new dog. Petco, we out here. Alright, we have to get this. Your yeah, pick up his poop. All right, we're gonna get this extra large case for him. We gotta find a bed as well. All right, guys, so we're getting this bed. Looks nice, nice and hot. All right, I'm gonna need some collars, some leashes. Oh. Guys, this is gonna be my dog, so I'm gonna like, get him the coolest things, you know? So yeah, we're working on it, right, Dad? Yes. Yes, okay. Okay, so we got him a black harness, like collar, and then a camo leash, like. It's dope, you already know. We're still working on finding more toys and stuff. We already picked out the bed and the cage. Yo, we got these gold dog bowls. Treat him royal, you know? Alright guys, so we just paid and uh, it was a total of, where is it, $677. That's freaking crazy, guys. Yeah, $667, wow. So we just checked out at Petco. We got a cage and all this stuff right here. <laughs> and all this stuff right here, guys. And it was a total of $670 or $667. The cart's moving. And yeah, guys. So we just spent like almost $700 on the dog just for getting like his stuff that he needs, you know, to survive and stuff. And that's not even the food that we need. We didn't even get him food. We only got him treats because he needs a certain food and they didn't have it here, guys. But yeah, so we got him everything he needs so far besides the food. We're going to order that on Amazon probably. And it'll be here before he gets here on Wednesday. And right now it's Sunday, October 8th, uh, which is my birthday. So <laughs> happy birthday to me. Yeah. And I have to pay for the dog and everything like that he needs and like to even buy him and everything. So yeah. Because uh, my dad said, it's your dog, your responsibility, you're paying for it, so that's how it's going to work. Yep, okay. Stuff's not working, guys, but yeah. We basically finished, and we'll see you guys at home, so yeah, it was a successful trip. We'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so right now we're back home. I'm filming on the camera and no longer my phone. I'm sorry about that, but I just left my camera battery. So as I just said, guys, we're home, um, and we got all the stuff. We got the cage, the treats, the bed that goes inside the cage, the bed when he's not in the cage, and then we got, like, all these treats and toys and stuff. Like, we got some toys in here. We got some bowls in there. We got two bowls, uh, and we got some, like, supplements for him to make him stay healthy. Uh, and then more toys in here, guys. And yeah, just like bags. And then we have this thing. Basically, this thing, you just throw it and like the dogs go like chasing it or whatever. It's actually a really cool toy, so we got that as well. And basically, this is like, it's like a poop picker upper, so you don't have to like use a plastic bag. Go like, open it like that and then get the poop and squeeze it like that. So that's dope. Here, I'll practice on something for you guys. Ready? We're going to get this shoe. Open that up. Squeeze that shoe. Oh, okay, it's taking off the towel. And then this is just what he puts his, uh, bowls on like for his food and water and guys for a bonus we got this uh warning uh like guard dog security dog thing so yeah that's pretty fun that's pretty cool uh and yeah you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for what kind of dog we're gonna get because you guys are probably thinking like oh german shepherd german shepherd it's not a german shepherd it's something similar to it but it's not all right 
So, yeah, I'll let you guys know once we get them. And right now I have to work on setting up the cage and getting everything organized. And I'll show you guys that in a second. So, you know what? Let's just put the cage together in like a second. So, you know, let's do it now. Ready, guys? We're going to have everything set up in three, two, one. Woo! All right, guys, we got everything set up. We got the cage, the bed. But I left all that stuff down there because I'm going to figure out like where to put that. And my dog is right here. So my dog was like scratching on that door uh, right over there. He just really wanted to come in and like just see what it was because like he thought like all this like the cage and the bed like and the toys over there were new so he's like sniffing around the bag and we're about to take him for a walk so he's on the leash but um yeah he was just dying to like come in just see what it was but I didn't want him getting like used to it and thinking like all of it was his because it's not just because like um oh look at this no he's biting his leash he hates it pretty spacious cage you know dope we put this divider in it. You put dividers in cages like when your dog's the puppy because uh, he's like so small so he can pretty much just fit in this spot. And if you give him the other half of it, he'll be like, oh, I could pee and poop in this half and sleep in this half. So like they, you don't want them like doing that because you don't want them getting used to like pooping in the house or like in the cage. So you're supposed to put a divider when they're a puppy until they like fully grow into it. And as they grow, you just move it back until like it's just done. So yeah, guys, that's dope. And guys, so yeah, that's basically it of all the things we got for him. And I'm so excited for this. So I'll see you guys on Wednesday after school when we're going to drive to the airport to pick them up. So, yeah, I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so basically we are on our way to the airport to pick up the new dog. So right now it's Wednesday, October 11th, I think. Yeah, it's October 11th, and we're going on our way to the airport with my whole family, as you guys can see. Uh, yeah, so we're on our way to the airport to go pick up our dog. Basically, we got the dog from a breeder in Colorado, and um, they're shipping it like on the plane so they don't have to go through like a 30 hour car ride because that's like absolutely torture. Some people might think like plane rides are torture, but it's not at all, trust me. It's like four hours and that's like good, like they're just done and it's over with. So yeah, I'm so excited to go pick them up. I'm sure my, the rest of my family is. So guys, we're gonna actually let you know what breed we're getting of a dog. We're getting a Belgian Malinois. Um, they are like German Shepherds, they're really similar. They're like working dogs, they're canines and everything. They're police dogs. They're one of the best like dogs out there, um, obedience wise and loyal wise. Like, they're just such good dogs. Highly you have no idea. What? Highly intelligent. Yeah, they're really intelligent too. And um, so we're gonna get, we're heading to get them, pick them up at the airport. And um, a lot of you guys may think I'm copying Jake Paul and getting this dog because Jake Paul actually got a dog like this same dog a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago. I don't know, but um, so yeah. Uh, a lot of you guys may think I'm copying him, which I'm not. I've always wanted like a German Shepherd, guys, but my parents like wouldn't really get me, let me get one because like they shed a lot, like they shed a like insanely amount, like um. And this dog, the Belgian Malinois, like really similar, or like they're even like better, and they don't shed as much, which is really good, guys. So yeah, that's a plus. And we're gonna see you guys at the airport. So yeah, see you guys there. Exciting. Aww. Don't let him go. <laughs> He's so cute. Come here. 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 Aww. His first treat. Just leave him for a little bit. I'm nervous right now. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely nervous. I think we should put him in a cage. Oh yeah. I think we're trying to, to get him out. Get he's scared. He's nervous. Oh, there we go. Now he's wagging now he's wagging Thank his tail. Thank you. All right, guys, we got him out. Aww. He was a little nervous at first, but we got it. Okay, guys, so we have Max. That's his name. If you guys want to go follow him on Instagram, his Instagram is the Canine Max. So yeah, guys, uh, the link will be in the description down below. 
He's so cute, guys. I love him. We've been in the car for the past 20 minutes. Look at him. He's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is absolutely crazy. And I want to thank all of you guys like for making this happen because without you guys, I wouldn't even have the money to afford to even buy this dog or support it. So yeah, it means a lot to me, guys. And yeah, I'll always love you. You know, everyone go smash the like button for Max. He's the cutest puppy ever. I love him. And yeah, I guess um, I'll talk to you guys when we get home. And we're gonna just, you know, relax in the car ride him, keep petting him, play with him with his toys and stuff. And yeah, this is like one of the best days ever, guys. You have no idea. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we get home. All right, guys, so currently Jack's in the bathroom. But Max, he's doing pretty good. He's taking it pretty well. Come here, Max. <laughs> here, hold the treat bag. Okay. Yeah, sure. He smells this and he really wants it. I'll go for a walk, Max. He's following you. Yeah, he, he likes, likes me. You. Oh crap, Max, Max, Max! Oh no, he's supposed Max, to treat bag. Max. No, I don't have it on me. It's real home, as you guys can see. I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. I'm so excited that we actually have this dog. Like, Look, we have Major. Major and Max are about to meet. Rolling. I'm dying to see Major. Major's dying. Yo. Yo. Oh no. Aww. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh, he likes me. Okay, I'm Max. I'm fine. <laughs> Hi, Maxie! Max, go to Major. Max, this is Major. Okay, okay guys, so... Uh, we're gonna go take him on the walk for the rest of, yeah, this walk, I guess. And yeah, we're gonna show you guys when we get back home. We're gonna show you what he's gonna do, what his like, arrangements are gonna be, and what's gonna happen. Cause yeah, I'm so excited for this dog. You know, go follow him, the canine Max. So yeah, Instagram, you already know. This dog's chilling. Okay, so we're back in the house, guys. Major's right there. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's so hyper. They have to scope out the entire house. Yeah. You wanna go on the treadmill? <laughs> You're getting everything wet. <laughs> Max, no, that's your call. You can't walk yourself. <laughs> this is off limits now. He's like, where am I going? One of the best dogs ever, guys. So I'm going to be sleeping next to him on this mattress by his cage. He's going to be sleeping in that cage right there. So uh, I'll keep you updated tonight. And I'm actually going to be staying home from school tomorrow. So I can just be with him and, you know, let him get to know me and stuff like that. And it's gonna be really fun guys. So yeah, we're playing with him right now. He's so cute guys I'll throw him like, together like a little montage for you guys of, like little Mommy. cool clips and funny clips and He's so fast eating. This is his oh first meal guys. Legendary first meal for Max. He's hungry. He's hungry. He hasn't eaten in hours it's I'm in love. I've fallen in love. You, him, you want him to always be able to touch a dog when he eats so he doesn't get mad at you. Oh, yeah, that's true. Good dog. Yes. You don't want them too much. Yeah. Wow. He gets oh my gosh. He's hungry. Alright guys, so it's about 10 o'clock. We're currently like crate training um, Max. So basically what like crate training is like they have to like know that their schedule and get used to being in the cage sometimes without like, uh, you know, like whining or whatever. That's how every dog has to be. So right now we're going to take him for a walk, you know, let him, you know, use the bathroom. And I'm basically going to be sleeping right on this bed. My brother's going to sleep upstairs. But um, yeah, so I'm probably going to have to walk in the middle of the night, but whatever. I really don't care. I love him so much, so I really don't mind. He's actually trying to adjust really well to the house and everything. And he really actually likes me. Like, if I let him out of the cage, he'll come right to me. So that's really cool, really awesome, and I love that about him. Yeah, I'm probably not going to film the walk because of the fact that I already filmed the last walk, his first walk, which is pretty much all that matters for you guys as of right now. And I'll keep you guys updated with what happens for no, the rest no, of the night. No, that's not no. <laughs> A toy. He keeps on, he bites yeah. everything. It's so cute. I love him. Walk. So, yeah, guys, we're gonna go for a walk. See you guys when we're done, you know, right, Mike? I wonder if he's, they said he's training clickers. Nah, we're not gonna be clickers. Nah, see ya. Alright, guys, so it's like around 11 o'clock, and I'm here with Max, guys. I feel bad because he has to be in the crate, but that's what all puppies have to like learn. And right now, we're watching, Max and I are watching the first Prince of Bel Air. We're both getting ready for bed. He is so playful. I love him. I'm gonna play with him a lot tomorrow morning. So cute. That's actually gonna wrap it up for the night, guys. But I'm gonna actually still record tomorrow, uh, like tomorrow morning, because I'm not going to school. So I said, hey, why not just record Max a lot? Because that'll be so fun. And yeah, because I love him so much, guys. So I'm gonna get some like funny edits of him running around the park or whatever. He doesn't have his rabies shot, so I actually don't know if I can take him to the park. Maybe I could just let him loose in the backyard. I'll either see you guys tomorrow morning or if he wakes me up in the middle of the night. So I'll see what he what he does. And yeah. Hey, Max. Wee. <laughs> Hey, he, oh no, you okay? Okay guys, so it's day two with Max. Such a good dog, I love him so much. Uh, look at him guys, he loves me so much, I can tell. He's always trying to get near me. We unfortunately have to put him in the crate a lot of the day because that's how they learn. And he just wants, and he just wants to come and like lay down with me or like play with me. But right now I'm gonna go play with him. I woke up about two and a half hours ago and today's Thursday and I'm actually not going to school because I just want to take care of him because he needs me of course. Like. He, I see, when I leave him to go eat breakfast, he was barking and whining because he just wanted me to be there. 
Cause he's just getting used to like, oh crap, look, he's looking at his reflection. <laughs> he hates his reflection. Oh, and that's what he knows what treats are. So yeah, guys, uh, I'm not going to school today because it's his first day without his like brothers or his parents or anything. Look at him, he's looking at his reflection. <laughs> so yeah, guys, this is his first day without any of his family members. So, and I just want to be there with him. I don't want him being alone or anything like that. So I'm just going to keep him company today, guys. And he already uh, took a crap two times in the house today. One upstairs, oh no, one upstairs last night and one downstairs like an hour ago. We went on a walk at six o'clock in the morning, guys. And he took a crap there, so he like he had literally an hour like in between each crap. Like, boy, who does that? Again, again. How does a dog take a crap like literally five times within an hour? Max, don't step in that. Max, come here. Come here, Max. Come on, Max. Max, Max, let's go play. I have to get him out of this so he doesn't step in it. All right, all right, good, good, good. Stay in here, stay in here, stay in here. Honestly, how? He hates his reflection, I'll tell you that. But how? That's literally, literally, my camera ran the storage a minute ago, so I was deleting clips, and as I was deleting clips, he goes in the sunroom and just takes the crap. How? How does he have so much in, in him? I don't understand. He's a good dog, though. At least he didn't do it in here. Come on, Max, let's go. I have to clean that up now. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys, so it's been about 10 minutes. I finally, like, finished cleaning up the poop because he did it twice, and, like, it's just so hard to do it, and probably, like, ugly as heck because I barely got any sleep last night. Uh, a couple hours, maybe, and I didn't even take a shower, and, yeah, now I'm just playing with him. Get out of his energy. Okay, you know, this is a YouTube. Say hi. I love him so much. Besides the poop part, he's great. Like, he loves cuddling with me. Look at this. All he does is cuddle with me. He is, like, the most energetic dogs, like, in the world. One of, they're more energetic than a German Shepherd. It's so crazy. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to continue to play with him, and then I'm going to go walk him again. I've walked him twice already, and he only pooped once, like, in the morning, and then he just pooped three more times uh, in the house. So, yeah, I don't know why he doesn't do it outside, but... Yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, so I apologize for that background noise, but um, basically, I'm on a walk with Max. First time during the day, or actually second time. I didn't get the first one on film. So, I'm sorry about that noise again, but we're gonna do an edit right now, so you won't even hear it, because it's not gonna be volume. So, you know, cue the edit, let's get it. That's the end of the edit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you know, shout out to the editor. He's dope. He's really good. And yeah, he pretty much just follows me everywhere, guys. He's so cute. So we got the clips that I wanted to for the day. Still, like, it's about 10 o'clock, and um, he's doing well so far. We took him for about, like, five or four or five walks this morning. Like, And since 6 o'clock, he's been, like, on, like, a couple walks. And yeah. Oh, look, he's on the soft wall. So he's doing good, guys, and I'll probably wrap up this video soon inside, maybe. And he's chasing the ball. He's so cute, guys. And yeah, I'll wrap up the video inside and I'll show you what he, you know, does because he's so cute. He has a ball in his mouth. Where are you going? Okay, ready? Ready, Max? You gonna get it? You gonna get it? Go get it. Woohoo! He's so cute. This is honestly a dream come true, guys. He's family. He's your family. Yeah, guys. You know, without you guys, I wouldn't have him. So, you guys are all part of the family, too, you know? So, he all lo Max loves you guys so much. You know, go follow him on Instagram. Show him your love, and he'll show you love back, you know? Okay, guys, so I'm chilling on the couch with Max. Um, he's trying to get comfortable and go to sleep. Um, so, yeah, he's just, like, moving around all the time. And whenever I get up, he gets up, too. Like, well, not off the couch because he's, like, really tired. But he'll get up, and, like, he just he's so protective of me. Like, my dad came home. He starts barking, and he's like, just, like, walking over me, like, checking side to side. It's so cute. But that's, like, part of the reason why I named him Max. Basically, guys, I don't know if you all have seen the movie Max, um, it's about a dog, a Belgian Malinois, just like this, and it's like a, it's a really cool movie, you guys should all see it, and it's not, it's not like a documentary, it's like, basically he's like a, was a dog of, um, a person in the military, and basically the person in the military died, so the dog went with the person in the military's brother, and the brother, like, was, it was his best friend, and things happened, you know, and all that, and then, like, He's, it was just the coolest thing ever. I can't even explain it. I haven't watched it in about a couple of months. If you guys can go check out the movie, you probably should. I'm not, it's like not a brand deal, nothing like that. It's just really cool. So right now, we're just chilling, guys. He's so cute. I love him so much. I think I'm just going to wrap up the video here. 
it's Thursday, it's 12 o'clock, guys, and I'm going to be uploading the video tomorrow, and yeah. This is honestly a dream come true, guys. You have no idea. Like, look at him. Hey, Max. You comfortable? Look at his paws. Oh, my gosh. Look at them. Every part about him is adorable. So, yeah, this video is probably, like, a little long, but, you know, it's just a video that, like, I want to be able to look back in, in a couple of years and see all this, guys, because this is so cute, like, so cool. I'll be making videos with him a lot, guys. I'll be putting him in all my videos, probably. Well, not all of them. I mean, like, whenever I'm around, you know? So, yeah, I'll be putting him in a bunch of my videos, and, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and share the video with your friends if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like if you want the dog. And, yeah, guys, I love you so much. Peace out. Wait, Max, cover the camera. Cover the camera. Boop. And darling, where do we go?